In this video, we will walk through the installation and configuration of the Post Hog WordPress plugin to begin tracking your site visitors and gaining some web analytics. Firstly, you'll need an account on Post Hog, which is free. You can either click the Get Started button here or the Dashboard button here. You're then presented with the option to log in, or if you don't have an account, you can click Create an Account. And here you've got the choice of the data region. So depending on where your business or website is based, you can select the US or the European Union. As we already have an account, we will go ahead and log in here. We'll then create a new project. So you might want to call this your website name. We'll call this Post Hog WordPress plugin. Click the Create Project button. We'll then navigate to the settings in the left hand menu and we will scroll down to the section here called Project ID. And we will be using the API key ID and region when we configure the WordPress plugin. Moving over to the WordPress site, we need to activate the Integrate Post Hog Web Analytics plugin by clicking Activate. And we then have the option to navigate to the plugin settings by clicking either Settings here, or alternatively, you can navigate to the settings menu and scroll down to integrate post hog web analytics. We're then prompted for some details, including our project API key and project ID. And we can get those from the post hog dashboard. So you can go ahead and click the copy to clipboard icon for the project API key. And we'll go ahead and paste that in the project API key field. We'll repeat the same for the project ID again pasting into the field. For project region, we need to confirm whether we're on the US or European cloud. So if we're told we're on the US cloud, we will set this to US. If your post hog setup has uh, EU or Europe as the cloud project region, you would go ahead and select EU from the drop down menu here. Finally, we have a persistence option, and this determines where to store the user data for web analytics. For those looking to meet GDPR or other privacy requirements, PostHog recommend using the memory setting, and this will provide anonymized web analytics. By default, we set this to local storage and cookie. Once you're happy with the changes, click the Save Changes button, and we can see on screen that these settings have been saved. To make sure this works, in PostHog we can click the Go to Wizard button here and we see that the PostHog system is waiting for events. With our plugin configured, if we navigate to the front-end WordPress website and then in a few moments when we review PostHog we can see the installation is complete and this tells us that we've entered the correct credentials and that our website is now being tracked by PostHog. If we then click on Continue, we have the option to add authorised domains and this might be useful if you want to make sure that you're only tracking events from your specific website. We'll skip this for now. In terms of options, the defaults are normally sensible. We'll click Next. And if you'd like to invite teammates, you may do so at this point as well. We'll click the Finish button. And we can see after a few moments, our visit has been tracked. And that's the one that we did when we first accessed the site after configuring the plugin.